carried over the line. Centered in front. Smatula with a good redirect. Save made by Cox. Bridges. Now sent toward the net by Summerside. He stopped and sent back out to neutral ice. Smatula gets a piece of that one at the blue line. Slon White beats him to it, but Bridges will hold it in at the blue line for Summerside. Ten seconds to go in the man advantage. Slon White all over Parsons in the corners. Matula also there trying to move it. Parsons gets it back. Parsons will leave it for Smatula and park himself in front of the net. Back to the line. We're back to five on five. Smatula takes the low shot. It's kicked aside by Cox. Bennett will get it out to Boudelier. McLeod is with him. Bit two on two. Bennett also in there for the Crushers. Tried to get it to McLeod, but Matt Kelly had him all tied up. And Summerside's able to take it away from danger in front of their goal. Parsons. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I'm sure it's a pretty impressive number, to say the least. Even when he hasn't, usually something like that happens. You're paying it, you're not paying attention for just a minute on the power play. Brazel's in behind you shorthanded. Absolutely. So now Picto County coming out of their own end. Forger on to the right side. He'll drop it back to McLeod. McLeod has to hold up to get the loose puck. Tries to give it back to Forgeron. Knocked away by Coulson. Coulson will send it down the ice, taking some time off the pressure power play. McLeod back behind his own net. He's hit there. Crushers able to use that man advantage to get back on the puck. Carter keeps it alive, though, for Summerside. Takes the shot. It's up into the chest of Jesse Cox. And he'll hang on. But more importantly than generating a good scoring chance, it keeps the face off at the opposite end of the rink for Summerside and for the Crushers to do any damage. Exactly. And, and one thing, uh, when, when you're talking about a 6-2 hockey game, sometimes you give guys a little bit of that right now so the guys aren't used to uh, playing the power play system as the Crushers want it played. Slon White drops it back. Picto County's Moore has to circle around. It's being watched very closely by Mrs. Matula. Very closely. In fact, he ends up going down. No call on the play. Crushers get it out to Holmes. To Durwell. Off of his skate. And Zax will find it for Summerside. Now he can't clear. Garrett Holmes holding on to the puck. Leaves for Durwell. Up to Moore at the point. Moore cross ice. Now down low to Durwell. Pass just in front of him. Couldn't pull the trigger. A good centering job there by Durwell to Lyle. And Lyle couldn't pull the trigger either. Now just about sprung as McEwen as they come back to five on five. But he and Moore get to the puck at the same time. Just two strides quicker and McEwen would have been on. <laughs>
chances have had there. And uh, a nice little goal there for Mitchell Taylor, the captain. And for him, that is his first goal, second point of the season. Back underway at East Link Arena in Summerside. Crushers will try to dig this one out of their own zone. Once again, up by one goal, 2-1 now as Devin Gunn flies down the right side. Gunn, cross ice, finds his man, and Nick Parker got a great shot off, and Kennedy this time makes a very nice save, picking up that leg. Parker keeps it alive in the zone to McGinnis. McGinnis, Parker on the right side. Parker's pushed hard by Carter, and Colston will play the puck away from danger behind his net, off the back hole. Zachs looks for a long pass, trying to spring Parsons. Puck <laughs> Bridgewater holding uh, holding their own right now against Woodstock, still 0-0. Woodstock wins the face-off. Shannon sends the puck uh, the length of the ice, and that's going to do it for the white penalty as Bridgewater crosses back into Slammer's territory. Scriver chips it off the boards, and that flies over the glass. 7-0-1 to go in this first period. Bridgewater holding uh, holding their own right now against Woodstock, still 0-0. Woodstock wins the face-off. Shannon sends the puck uh, the length of the ice, and that's going to do it for the white penalty as Bridgewater crosses back into Slammer's territory. Scriver chips it off the boards, and that flies over the glass. 7-0-1 to go in this first period.